So I'm going to only be eating Thai market food for 24 hours in Thailand, Chiang Mai. And to make it extra challenging, I am only eating J food. It's kind of like veganism, but much more stricter. You can't eat certain fruits, garlic and onion. And welcome to Jing J Market, guys. Alright, so when I lived here three years ago, guys, this market used to be so quiet. Now it's a popular tourist destination and they strive on basically making environmental friendly stuff. Even these bricks right here, they are recycled. Okay, so this is my first time eating today. It's around 12 o'clock. I am starving. I can't wait to eat. It's starting to close down, but luckily this place here that has a lot of J food is open, but it's packed. Check it out. So with these mushroom drinks, they have one with honey, which isn't J and they have one without honey which is the one i'm drinking now and it's so powerful i really actually enjoy it one plate please <laughs> Kabuka. almost getting everything uh what is this um potato oh potato okay yes. you eat like this Oh, look at that. First meal of the day. Oh, that is good. Very earthy. These mushrooms are pretty popular in Thailand within like the J community. They almost taste like steak. They're very chewy and amazing. Okay, sticky rice. They recycle here. Okay, so this specific market is like a food market. So I'm pretty excited to go. It should be easy to get some food there. Okay, so the market's over here, but I had to show you guys this. Look at this vintage bike and vintage store. There's a lot of American uh, clothing and stuff. It's so interesting. Wow. A lot of vintage clothing. Wow. So, I had to use voiceover due to the music and I also had to apologize to you guys because for some reason on my GoPro, the lights were flashing. But as you can see in this market, there was so much food. And there were some vegan options, but it was tricky because it's like, does this have garlic? Can I eat this fruit? And yeah, I end up eating tacos, which I think I failed my challenge because <laughs> I think... It had some garlic in it, and I did not know until later. But the tacos, man, was so crispy. Sorry? Crunchy. Uh, crunchy. Yeah. Not cheese. Sour cream. No sour cream. Now, here's another place that I found, and they also had some really good food as well basically more homemade food they had this beautiful green noodles that i got and as on top of that they also had some really nice type of sushi i have one please of the chang da green noodles okay so there was banana bread one had milk chocolate so i couldn't eat that and I end up getting the other banana bread that didn't have any milk chocolate. The lady was so nice explaining everything to me and she showed me which one I can eat. Mm -hmm. 
It is the morning now. Remember, this is like a 24 hour challenge. I woke up in the afternoon. So right now I'm going to get breakfast in the market. It's like a little secret back door to the market and you don't have to pay for parking. So it's pretty good right here. All right, we're here in the market, man. Let's go get some food. Kimchi. Oh, look at these mushrooms. Before you ask me, these little fans that they have with the plastic bag is to protect the food from flies. So flies are very scared to go in that direction due to those bags. Of all the sweets. Oh, the fruits. Yes. So, what do you crap? I get this. And watermelon. Oh, passamint. Yeah, that's right. Passamint. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's it for now, please. This was a dollar, and this was almost two dollars. Not sweet enough. It's all right. Persimmon, now the persimmon better be good, okay? The first persimmon wasn't too good. The others are really nice. But, but I prefer passions when they're more mushy. Anyway guys, challenge is over. Make sure to check out my other video of me doing 24 hours only eating 7-Eleven food. And I'll see you in that video. Peace. If it's not there, make sure to subscribe with notifications. It will be there. Three years? Oh, three years. Yeah. What's this place called? Why? But lucky I love you. Oh, that's a cute name. A girl made this bar? Okay, that's why he's got the I love you. Is it right if I ask you guys some questions yeah, yeah. on Chiang Mai? Okay, say hi. <laughs> Do you guys like foreign men or Thai men? Uh, foreign. You like foreign men? Uh -huh. And you? <laughs> Do you love, okay, do you prefer love or money? Marry for love or marry for money? Oh, okay. <laughs> you love or ma love marry for love or money? She said both. Yeah, I might. <laughs> Bye.